Okay, what's over there? That's an awfully big place. Ouch. Still have iron cubes, right? Yeah, I have a few. Okay, right now I'm in the middle of the active lava zone. Definitely not in the lava zone anymore. Structure and intended purpose is unclear. Ceremonial or religious role, industrial application, advanced supportation network. Yeah, I think I figured it out. Where the hell am I? Speckled Rattler. Brittle land plant containing large spores which generate a characteristic rattle when the plant is shaken. This may act to ward of predators or even encourage predation as a means of spreading the spores. Sure, I'll pick up a few. See where it takes us. Shrooms? Pink cap. God damn it, you! What did I ever do to you? Okay, you wanna fight? Pink cap. Land based fungus species with harvestable spores. Edible. Okay, it's a cavern. We've got a cavern. And we're at 291. And that's a land shark. Ah, damn you! So I am... in the river, I'm guessing. No, not in the river. Huh. I'm just off the rack. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just off the rack.
Cool. I think that's the one Bronze found. Do I have a beacon on me? I do not have a beacon. Hmm. Well, it's on the map. Okay. Anyway, that's one arch. Okay, what else do you have? This room appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. Yeah. Whoa. Give me the data. See Emperor Leviathan. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upward to accommodate the species. Feeding and digestion. Alien research data indicates that despite its size, the species feeds entirely on microorganisms. Like a sperm whale, it filters from the water, which themselves depend on a complicated ecosystem of plant and animal life. Large ovary-like organs are carried in the creature's middle section, suggesting that, like other species on this planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility. The Emperor manufactures Enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food, and will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium, and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived. The outbreak it would remain to be explained by what mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. Comparative analysis of size and metabolic rates indicates the specimen captured by the researchers was approximately 1600 years old. Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggests it had lived well in excess of the peak lifespan for its species. While a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, it is unlikely any research subjects survived quarantine procedures. That's an emperor egg. Yeah, I'm infected. That's a lot of many kinds of eggs. Another sea dragon egg. I have no idea what these are. Damn. Okay, next. Not really a big fan of the design here, but sure. Hmm. 
Another gate. Still under. Oh, damn. Wait, bio mentions? Is that the last level? No? Yes? I don't know. Okay. You know that one. Don't go in the blind pools. Mm-hmm. Just a second. I think I'm in the yeah, I'm in the last level. This is not the lab though. Of course I missed it, it's behind the freaking waterfall. Those, sh those things should have clued me in. Why are you here? primary containment. Before we go in the main entrance, I would like to drill the hell out of this. Maybe just pick it up. Let's plant the pawn over here. Yeah, I need to, to drill it. Got a few of those. Whoa, whoa, what the hell did I do? Is it creating more ion cubes? I'll check back later. Okay, ancient blade. Ancient Earthblade. 
Dating back to the 13th century, blood samples on the blade matched the DNA of seven separate heads of states from the period. This evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in the surreptitious study of less developed species. Why the hell is it spinning? Alien carving. That looks like a yin yang. This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognized natural fiber. Grown on an unknown planet, it bears striking resemblance to the old Earth yin yang symbol. Two competing theories may explain this similarity. Aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century BC and influenced the development of the ancient Chinese philosophy. The concept of yin and yang is universal, since yin and yang describe the fundamental interdependency of seemingly opposite forces. It may be necessary existential understanding in some form in all sufficiently developed civilizations. The tapering of two circles union into opposed and infinitesimally small points, the finite, is one logical way to represent this understanding and may have been developed independently by species other than humans. This device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities, although its structure is rather less complex. It may have served a similar purpose, granting security access and storing relevant data and was thus kept here as a form of legacy support. Really, legacy support. That's different. Holographic projector. This device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It was likely used as a communications relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user to a remote location. There do not appear to be any other devices in range. This artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. The pyramid resembles vines spiraling upwards towards a warm blue stone mounted above it. It may represent a plant found on the alien's homeworld, a building of a religious import, or even the gravitational pull of their home solar system. Let's investigate further. Another arch. It's not in my inventory. It's in the pawn inventory. Also, let's try and pick up. Ooh, I have plenty of them. Can I pick you up? Apparently not. Also, repair. Let's find out what is this. 300. I'm not far from the Tempest. Well, that's just a buried light fixture. Cool, there's an arch. And the Tempest is... 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 over there.
Whoa. I think I repelled. Yeah, bye bye. Come on. Yeah. Made me some lion cubes. Damn, that's loud. Okay, let's keep going. What the hell is going on in here? Mysterious pipes. Plant Aquarium That's where the vent goes, right? People entering the containment facility The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled, filled with peepers arriving from the surface The fish show no signs of distress The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Interesting. Hang on a minute before I go deeper. Let's get the data. Ventilation control. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Inflow water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considered lower than the volcanic environment considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility, while microorganism and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Oxygen-deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. Very interesting. Let's go deeper. More pipes. Is that a map of the facility? Where does this all go?
Okay. See nothing else to worry about over here. Come on. Another arch, probably. Right. Do I have a cube? Yeah. Thirty-nine. Hi, fire squirtle. Isn't a fire squirtle very dangerous? If you squirt fire, I'm in the blue zones, the mushroom forest. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. 2000 sparks. What are sparks for? What kind of tablet do you want? A blue one. I need to make a blue one. Yeah. Yes, that's the one that's closest to the Tempest. The entrance was right above me. Come on, inside, inside, thank you. Give me all the things. Save all the things.
Um, is anything underpowered? 73. Yeah, let's switch that one out. Yeah. Okay. What's new? Blue tablet. Please make me a blue tablet. And another one just to be sure. And a purple one just in case. Okay. Ion battery, ion power cell. We'll see about that in a minute. Actually, give me an iron battery. Now I can harvest as much iron cubes as I want. Gold and silver are not no issue. But give me a beacon. Copper. I need copper for a beacon. Altera. What if I do this and switch out for the ion battery? It's much better than the regular one. It's now fi 500. <laughs> so why not make more? What am I doing on uh, nine cubes? Five iron cubes. And I have plenty of gold and plenty of silver, but somehow no copper. Okay, so switch out this power. Switch out this one. Switch out this one. I need two more. We should need three more. Okay, let's make three more. What if I charge my Cyclops with iron power cells? I also need silicon rubber, so copper and silicon rubber. Silicon rubber requires creep fine seed clusters. Oh, no battery for the propulsion cannon. Give me one for the propulsion cannon. Oh, 
Okay. Copper and creep vines. Apparently there's a better entrance right over here. Right in front of the big ball. Thing. Just want to put my belly right underneath here. Okay, turn the engine off. No idea. Okay. Let's go look for some copper and three points. What the hell do you think you're doing? What is that huge thing? Giant bulb bush. Giant bulb bush. Past plant is centuries old while it dominates the surrounding area. A complex root system below the surface connects it with other bulb bushes in the area. Nutrient flow within this network suggests the giant bulb has adapted to feed the weaker bushes and keep the forest healthy. Cool. Bulb bush. Aquatic species has evolved to grow in deep sandy environments and to conserve its hydration levels against relatively extreme external temperatures. The root system can fragment the shale rock it grows on to form a deep anchor point, allowing predators to graze but not easily uproot the entire plant. This grazing will tend to dislodge parts of the plant, and each section is capable of growing into a fully formed adult plant, explaining the concentrations of bald bushes in some parts of the world. And the bullet smoke quantities high water content. Actually that gold. I think I'll just go back to base and grab some copper there. But I think I'll leave I'll leave the cyclops here. Yeah. Turn off the lights. Okay, alien control facility, that's my base. Did I miss this rock? It looks like scanner room segments. Yeah, I know this rock.
Life pod six. Yeah, I'm familiar with those legs as well. How about I just park this thing over here? Welcome aboard, Captain. How are we doing on power? Good? Good. How's the nuclear reactor? Coming as usual. Also humming. Okay, I need copper and silicon rubber. And let's take a bit of fiber mesh as well. Melt. And fall. Also, can you make a power cell? How many iron batteries and gold and silver? Gold is fine, silver is fine. I have three iron batteries. I'll think about it. That's the new thing, nothing else is really that important. Just need to see... Yeah, the fuel reserve requires kyanite, glass steel, and iron power cells. Okay, so let's start with that. Put that away. Put the battery away. Okay, so... Crystal? Sulfur? Right. Crystalline Sulfur. Four kyanite, one plastil ingot. I have no kyanite here. I have no kyanite here. Damn it. And two iron power cells. So I'm going to need four batteries. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
all about all this. And I've got a shell of a power cell. Let's build it. Let's build it at night. Build it. I want to see it up close. I'm guessing we're still missing one last piece. Okay, what else do I need? Neptune cockpit, Cyclops shield generator, I don't have yet, computer chip and plasteel ingot, I can make. Computer chip and plasteel ingot, the goddamn shield generator. Yeah, how the hell do I build one? And the sonar, I don't, I don't know. Oh, no. How do I build a decoy thing? I still don't know how to build the alien containment. Or the indoor go bed. So, you said... Uh, torpedoes, stuff. I don't know. Plasteel and computer chip. Don't I have them? Need to make plasteel. And apparently, I don't have a computer chip. And put those away. Now, um, 
to make to make non battery we need silicon rubber what else was I missing? Silicon rubber and copper. But why did I need copper? Silicon rubber. Oh, beacons and copper. Give me the iron cubes. Give me the silicon rubber and the copper. And that should be it. Some fiber mesh, just in case. Also, make them as much as you can. And that's it. Eat a medkit. And maybe some more fiber mesh. Silicon model. to build power cells and I want to build beacons. Beacons? Beacons. I'm full, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna dump the rest in there. We got an iron power cell. And... I need... I need a Cyclops shield generator, that's what I need. So I put the drill arm in there. 